Hello and welcome to Aeration Blowers Explain. In this video, we will explore how to achieve greater efficiency in wastewater treatment with screw blower technology over older, more traditional equipment. This video was created for plant operators who utilize blowers daily, design engineers who evaluate technologies for new plant and plant upgrades, and OEMs who build and operate wastewater plants. Blowers play a vital role in wastewater treatment and their efficiency directly drives the operation costs of the facility. The power consumption of aeration blowers is said to account for 50 to 60% of the electrical cost of most any plant. When blowers are used in the aeration process, they ingest ambient air and inject this into the wastewater basins, creating bubbles in the solution. As these bubbles rise to the surface, they exchange oxygen for the treatment process. In doing so, they promote microbial growth in the wastewater. This process not only requires a dependable source of oxygen, but an efficient source as this process operates 24-7. One metric to gauge performance of blowers is isentropic efficiency. This is the ratio of actual work done to ideal work done by the blower. The ideal work or isentropic power comes from a mathematical formula derived from commonly accepted thermodynamic principles. Isentropic efficiency represents the ideal power consumption, but the actual power consumed will vary among brands even within the same type of blower. To demonstrate, let's have a look at variations in airflow for a typical plant. Most plants see a daily fluctuation in airflow requirements, which are also impacted by the seasons. The flows are typically driven by dissolved oxygen concentrations. As the blowers regulate the flow capacities to meet these demands, the efficiency also varies. Older technologies experience more dramatic fluctuations with efficiency, with their worst coming at lower demands. While the isentropic power is easy enough to calculate, the actual blower power is a bit more difficult to nail down. Additionally, you want to evaluate the machine at multiple points across its control range. Modern blowers have a wide range with a near constant efficiency. They operate at 70 to 80 percent isentropic efficiency, while a traditional blower operates 50 to 60 percent efficiency. The combination of poor control and poor efficiency results in high energy cost and wasted money. Kaiser Compressors recently assisted a small plant with aging blowers that wanted to improve their aeration system. Kaiser took measures of their existing system and performed an analysis to determine their airflow needs. The plant switched from an older centrifugal fixed speed blower to a variable speed rotary screw blower and is now generating more than $18,000 in annual energy savings. That's a 60% reduction. Rotary screw blowers offer efficient operation and long-term dependability. They combine a wide control range with near constant specific package input power and ensure maximum air delivery while keeping power consumption to a minimum. Making the switch from the old blower technology to new can significantly increase your plant's performance and energy savings. For more information on Kaiser screw blowers, check us out with the link below.